1480 News Now, leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local, dependable, on demand. For 1480 News Now, I'm Phil Kuhn. A Warsaw man has been sentenced for child molesting charges dating back to 2009. 23-year-old Taryn Raphael of Warsaw was sentenced yesterday to 15 years at the Indiana Department of Corrections with the last five years served on probation. At the time of the incident, Raphael was 18 years old and the child was 11 years old. The victim told police during the time of the incident she was threatened by Raphael and was told not to tell anyone. During his time on probation, Raphael must maintain a full-time job and no alcohol is permitted. He must also register as a sex offender and is not allowed any indirect or direct contact with the victim or her family at any point. The autopsy has been completed on 23-year-old Tara Thornburg of Syracuse, the woman shot in the head by 22-year-old Brandon Woody. The cause of the death has been determined to be a gunshot wound to the head, and the manner of death has been ruled a homicide. Thornburg succumbed to her injuries on Friday. Woody was taken into custody last Thursday afternoon after shots were fired earlier the same day at a home on East Main Street in Syracuse. 19-year-old Joshua Nisley was also pronounced dead at the scene. Average retail gasoline prices in Indiana are at $2.31 a gallon. That's six cents higher than a week ago and a dollar and 26 cents lower than a year ago. Currently, the lowest places to get gas in Warsaw are at Lassus Handy Dandy on Parker Street and Sitgo on Argonne Road. Both are at $2.25 a gallon. Your weather is coming up in 15 seconds. It's a new year and it's time for you to get your new car, truck, van, or SUV. And the car company in Warsaw and Goshen is still the place to get the best deals. The car company is the home of the $69 down, $69 a month payment plan. So come see us at the car company. Great cars, great prices. Looking at your Storm Team 16 forecast, tonight will be cloudy and cold with light snow at times and a low of 6 degrees. Tomorrow will be cloudy and quite cold again with a chance of snow showers and a high of 12. And Friday, we'll see temperatures rise up a bit with highs in the mid-teens and mostly sunny conditions. And your Lake City Media Hoopsters are back in action tonight. We'll be taking on the Chore Time Brock employees at Milford Middle School. Doors open up at 6.30 and the game will start at 7 p.m. Money raised will go towards the Kosciuszko County United Way. For 1480 News Now, I'm Phil Kuhn. Have a great day.